I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video how to open your heart chakra. Because the more that we can connect to our heart space, the more that we're gonna feel that peace and that joy and that love that we all that we all want to experience. And also what I believe is that the more that we can connect to our heart space, the more that we can connect to that space of being connected to who we really are and our heart, the more that we're gonna to start to experience what I've seen in my life to be effortless manifestation. Manifestation that happens totally effortlessly because you're just totally aligned with that higher frequency energy. Whatever the case is for in terms of whatever reason you're connecting to your heart, I'm gonna share with you in this video exactly how to connect to it and how to open your heart chakra. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So the first thing that's really important to consider when it comes to opening your heart chakra is that you always want to be in full acceptance to what you are feeling. A lack of being connected to your heart chakra really is a lack of being connected to your feelings. That's all it is. It's a lack of being connected to the space that you're in, specifically your heart area. But actually, if you can get more in tune with your feelings overall, you'll start to notice that your heart begins to open as well. Now, this is just the first step. This is not the whole process, but the first step is to be aware and be conscious of how you're feeling at all times as much as you can, be present with your inner body and start to actually accept whatever you feel. Because the way that we get to a higher frequency energy and more energy of gratitude, peace, joy, and love is not by trying to get to a higher frequency, but it's by, and this is very counterintuitive, but it's about being in a complete state of acceptance and non-resistance to where you already are in your life. Because the more that you try to fight where you are and get to that higher frequency one day in the future, all you're doing is you're resisting the present moment. You're resisting what's happening right here, right now. And so if we can start to be more in acceptance to the emotions that we feel, if we can start to feel more into what is happening right now, what you'll start to experience is that your heart begins to open up because you're accepting all that is. You're not fighting anything anymore. You're not fighting the low frequencies. And what happens when you're in awareness of awareness or you're even aware of just your emotions to begin with, what starts to happen is that you literally become a light worker. You start to transmute all that negativity into joy. You become an alchemist, like Ralph Smart says. You're gonna literally do alchemy on your own emotional state. But the way that you do that is by accepting where you are. And when you can accept all the feelings that you feel, start to feel into where you are and accept that, start to feel that your frequency gets higher. And tell me that your heart is not gonna be more open. It will be. At least that's what I've seen in my experience. And if you can start to feel into your heart, there's no guarantees here, but it's, it, it, it personally has worked in my experience to be in a state of non-resistance to what I feel. Now, the second thing that I've realized in my life is that once you're in that space of non-resistance, how often do you say thank you? How often do you say thank you? Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the universe. Just thank you to yourself. Thank you to life. Thank you for bringing me this. Thank you for bringing me life. Thank you for bringing me this gratitude. But you want to be, what I found to be most effective 
is to use that gratitude from a higher frequency space. So you can use gratitude to raise your frequency, but oftentimes though, if we're in an energy of attachment and not, we don't have that spaciousness in our life, it's actually a lot more difficult to step into that space of being fully grateful for what we have. So I find that if I can accept where I am, feel into the emotions that I'm feeling and be in that complete space of non-resistance where I create spaciousness between my true self and the forms and the, all the emotions and the stuff and the thoughts from that space, if I can start to invite more gratitude, just saying thank you. You don't even need to do this always, but sometimes it can be very effective just to give thanks to the universe, to just be grateful for where you're at. And if you enter that frequency as a bonus, you can actually start to be grateful for the things that you don't even have yet. But it's about being in that frequency. So how often do you say thank you? If you can say thank you, watch how your heart opens. Now, I believe that we don't even need to use affirmations to open our heart. That's the belief system that I have, which is not really a belief. I mean, it's just what I've noticed in my experience. I guess it is a belief system. But sometimes though, if you feel like you're struggling, just give thanks, okay? It might be useful for you in that moment. Different tools for different times for different people. I don't use affirmations a lot, but there is that time where I say to myself, thank you. It just comes in. It just comes in to my consciousness. I just realize how important it is to acknowledge the fact that we've gotten to this point, that we've reached this level, and it's time to give thanks to life. And the third and final thing, this one's gonna sound cliche, but actually to just literally put your attention on your heart space is gonna allow you to open your heart. Put your hands on your heart and just feel into that for 10 minutes. Give, put your hands on your heart and say thank you from that space. A lot of people are gonna be in resistance to this. Like, oh, Francis, that's so cliche. But try it. Put your hand on your heart and just say thank you. Put your hand on your heart right now and say thanks. Thank you. Th just repeat thank you 10 times in a row with your hand on your heart. Tell me that you won't start to feel your heart, your emotions more. You'll start to feel more energy coming up. You'll start to feel more consciousness building up in your system. You'll start to feel more awareness around things you maybe didn't have awareness before. And that's when you want to step into that space of feeling. If you feel resistance to doing this, it might be because you have a subconscious program that's stopping you from being grateful, stopping you from feeling the peace that of course is your natural state of being. Your natural state of being is to be in a state of peace. And if you feel resistance to feel into your heart space, it might be because there's a program. So let that resistance be there. If you're like, Francis, I can't give thanks. I can't feel grateful. Let the resistance come up and accept that. Feel into that and watch how you'll start to feel more grateful. Now, as a bonus, what I wanna share with you, which is not something I was gonna mention in this video, but I'm gonna give you a bonus here. Actually, it is something I was gonna mention, but I was gonna give three things, but I'll give a fourth bonus. I believe that if we follow our soul's calling, your heart is going to open more so than you could possibly open it. Because if you're limited by your environment, by your physical space, I know that some people may disagree with this and say that this is a limiting belief, but I believe that if we're stuck in an environment that's not serving us, if we're not following the very tangible thing that we know we need to do to follow our heart, how much can your heart really open? Now, I'm not gonna say that's objectively the truth, but I'll say though that I believe that if you follow your soul's calling, you'll have more opportunity to have a heart awakening. So I'm not gonna say that it's not possible to reach the highest levels of heart chakra opening if you don't follow your soul's calling. But what I will say though, is that if you follow your soul's calling, if you follow what your heart wants, you are going to open up more space and opportunity for your heart to open because you're gonna have the relationships that are aligned with your heart. You're gonna have the career that's aligned with your heart. You're gonna have the lifestyle that's aligned with your heart. How can you not have a heart awakening and be thankful for what you have 
when literally you're completely in alignment with your heart. You're going to be saying thank you automatically. You're not even going to have to try to say thank you. You're going to be waking up every single day feeling grateful just for just for like without even affirming to yourself. Like I don't even have to affirm to myself to feel gratitude in my heart. I'll just feel gratitude in my heart for living the life that I'm living. For just having this experience like it's just I, you can feel joy just for being alive and i think that is more of an opportunity for you if you follow your soul's calling so if any of these signs resonated with you leave a comment down below sharing your experience and leave a comment down below sharing your experience if you've personally done anything that has allowed your heart to open at deeper levels to connect to that peace joy and love that every human being wants. And also let us know if it has helped your manifestation process as well. And of course, if this video resonated with you, leave a like as well. So that's the lot for this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for free consultation. And as always, have yourself a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.